it's funny. Someone told me to lighten up. <laughs> so I told him, brighten up. You know, get bright. After all, if we are children of the light and children of the day, and we need not always stumble, but we can walk in his way, then maybe today I don't need to lighten up. I need to brighten up. You know, kind of like light up the territory. Kind of like glow, you know, where you know you should be. Doing what you should be doing. Being what you should be in. I mean, after all, is it kind of like the Christian life about living it? Not just doing it? I mean, anybody can do it. Everybody doing it, doing it, doing it. But how many people are living it? You know, forget this walk the talk. I don't care about what your talk is. And I don't care about what your walk is. I care about what the light is. And Jesus is the light. So wherever he shines, I want to find myself in the light. That makes sense. It does to me. <laughs> I don't know about you, but you know, when I was walking in darkness, I stumbled. Seems like if I'd have had a flashlight, if I'd have had a beam of light, if I would have had the sunlight, then I might not have stumbled. But as long as I'm in the dark, well, you know, I kind of expect to stumble and bumble and fumble and crumble underneath the load of all that I'm carrying and doing and trying to be. But, man, when Jesus set me free, it was like, oh, can you feel that light? Oh, can you feel that warmth? Man, isn't it good of God to just be able to go out, find a nice shady tree, you know, kick back, take it easy, have a nap. You ever had a nap with God, you know, just kind of napping out with life, you know, kind of, ooh, you know, God, it's so good that you're in control, and I'm not, <coughs> it's so good that you got it in your hands, and I don't, <laughs> it's so wonderful that you're in control, and man isn't, you know, God, I think Maybe I could just take a snooze. <sighs> Maybe I can just kind of like chill out, relax, and take it easy, and let you be you. Me? I'll be me. After all, you did say, God, that you would take me the rest of the way. You said you're easy to follow. You said your burden is easy and your yoke is light. Hmm. Light like in light or light like in light? Hmm. Which way do you want it? Either way, you're right. <laughs> so, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it's easier to be with God in the light than it is to be with God in the darkness. After all, I think he said, if you walk in the light as he is in the light, you would have fellowship one with another. Things which are despised has God chosen. Really? Behold, are not all these which speak Galileans? Ooh, they're one of those people, you know, maybe they're Islamists. Ooh, but they got saved. Jesus saw two brethren casting a net into the sea, for they were fishers and fishermen. And he said unto them, Follow me. Now, when they saw the boldness of Peter and John, and perceived that they were unlearned and ignorant men, they marveled, and they took knowledge of them, that they had been with Jesus. Wow. Something different about being in the light with them. They had a light and reflected the light. My speech and my preaching was not with enticing words of men's wisdom, but in demonstration of the Spirit 
and of power. That your faith should not stand in the wisdom of men, but in the power of God. You have not chosen me, but I have chosen you, and ordained you that you should go forth and bring forth fruit. He that abideth in me, and I in him, the same bringeth forth much fruit. For without me you can do nothing. We have this treasure in earthen vessels, that the exceeding excellency of the power may not be of ourselves, but of God. <laughs> wow. Imagine that. All of it coming from God returning to God, but going through you. Wow. God would use you today. God would touch you today. God would be with you today. In some way, to shed light on a subject that maybe no one else in the world could be prepared to do except you today as you walk in the light as he is in the light.